Off we go now. Strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fedon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this Fedon his freedom. What is it? There is a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Baron. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Alexios! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Do I have to leave Attica to be rid of you? It feels like you're everywhere I go. It is very strange, but to answer your question, yes, leaving Attica would help. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician... I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. Ah! <laughs> 
I won't rest until your reign is ended. Nothing gets past the eyes of Cosmos. Activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged.
That's Hippocrates Clinic. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by Ira, I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patients. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. Back away from the boy, slowly. Who dares threaten the priestess of Ira? Me. Now, step back. It seems the gods wish me to grant you and your master another chance. Very well. Tell Hippocrates that if he doesn't make a public show of respect to the gods, I will raise an army of believers against him. If the doctor can't think of a suitable offering, his head will do. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? 
He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. So many sick people. Can one man help all of them? should be careful. High security here. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. Huh. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This is important. Where are all these people coming from, anyway? Patience, mercenary. They come from everywhere, but this is mostly overflow from the sanctuary of Asclepios. It's been crowded there since the war began. And with crowding comes sickness. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Alexios of Sparta. What did you come here for, Alexios of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. 
Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. His notes are well guarded. Why? The mighty Tyrians, built by the Cyclopes. Mighty Tyrians, built by the Cyclopes, or so the legend goes. What now?
Come on. Mighty Tyrians, built by the Cyclopes, or so the legend goes. Hippocrates' notes are well guarded. Why?
What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. There isn't enough time. I need you at Hippocrates' camp. Now. <laughs> Come on.
Maybe the punch was a bit hasty. But I couldn't wait forever. Neither could Hippocrates. There's still a chance. Did you find my notes? Not quite. Will this do? Who is this? Hippocrates. I I'm sorry, your notes were destroyed, but I have them all in my head. Then it is your duty to help me save this man's life. Oh. He'll live. I wish I could say the same for my patient. What patient? Your mysterious friend attacked me while I was in the middle of an operation. It was the only way to get him here in time. While you did save my patient, the other did not deserve their fate. At least we saved one soul today. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to more serious matters, I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. Talk to him. <laughs> the sanctuary of Asclepius, god of medicine. Casting. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about the Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours sit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries, especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. 
Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes? They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. These snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I carved up every single one of those slimy malagas. My babies! What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse! A sick man is dead because of them! You! You did this! Good snakes are dead snakes. You'll pay for this! I curse you! Well? Well what? Uh, I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky snakes. Ugh. At least I got a name. Alithos to the snake. There he is. Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. My mother came through here. And unless you want me to paint these stones with your blood, 
You'll tell me what you know. Please. It's Chrysis. She said that anyone who talks to the Eagle Bearer will be paying a visit to Hades. Then don't talk. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. <sighs> this way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. Was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? The good priest here was teaching me how to heal sword wounds. Um, yes, sword wounds. Oh, really? And what is the treatment for sword wounds, according to Timoxenos here? Dogs. What about them? You use dogs to lick the wounds clean. Very good. Don't give away all our tricks, Timoxenos. Who will bring offerings to the gods when our patients learn to heal themselves? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have matters to attend to. You have your treatment, Mistios. Now please, leave the sanctuary.
αδελφών και ο στιγχωρεσίδιος λέγει ο ότι συμμορία Άφησε τούτο Γεια! He's over there. May Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently. And very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. I'm looking for information about the Spartan woman who came through here. I was warned about an eagle bearer. A ruthless killer, he was called. Do you think it's wise to deny this ruthless killer the information he desires? Healing the sick is my path. Help me get the attention of the gods, and I can tell you what I can. What are you asking, exactly? Her illness seems to have no cure. And it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals. All must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you.
Ήκουσα την ευήθεια τάφτην και το πρώτερο. What do you need? I'll see you soon.